Good morning, everybody. It is another day, a sunny one. Kind of cold though, but uh, Nana's just warming up and then we will get on with our day. Just like that, back on the road. So, no real plan for today. I have no idea where I'm going. Somewhere though, by the looks of it. Okay guys, well, we've ended up here. It's so unfortunate that people always abuse Crown land and uh, use it for a public dump. Anyways, we are here on the back roads just outside of Qualicum Beach and this will be home for us tonight. Poor Nana, she's filthy. Okay, well, you can see the ground is all froze up. Actually, it's probably more just like frost. But away we go, back down the gravel road, back to town. Oh, perfect. 12% gravel, amazing. Look how the, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> right up on my lap every minute of every day what is wrong with you huh do you love your daddy hmm do you love your daddy <laughs> oh press you are a weird one what is like literally hugging me Okay, well, we're back to this crown land spot, but there, well, the window is so dirty, I apologize, precious with her nose. We've got Patrick with us, but we've decided to go further down this road, so wish us luck. Okay, well, if this isn't a forest service road, I don't know what is, because it's basically single lane. I've already had to back up twice, and... Yeah, Patrick's behind us. It was his idea for us to go down here. Oh God, hopefully I don't end up in this ditch. Jesus. Oh boy. Okay, obstacle number one, passed. How is this for a free spot to camp for a bit? Gotta love crown land. Okay, well, we came down this little trail here, down to this area. It really is a shame. I've been here once before. There is a ton, and I mean a ton of garbage here. But, you know, as long as you don't look down and you just look out, it's beautiful. Update, I got a fire going with random scraps that I found lying around here. But then the conservation authority showed up and apparently they're closing this area down because people keep coming here to shoot rifles and stuff like that. I may or may not have had an air rifle in my hand when she showed up. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, she said tomorrow she's coming and she's going to dig with the excavator all over there so that we can't get in here. Welcome to Canada. You know, we have tons of public land, but it's basically inaccessible. You can never get to it. And when somebody does make a road like this, it gets abused and then it gets shut down. So at least we got this beautiful view for one night. And just to uh, touch a little bit more on what kind of luck I'm having lately with authority and parking, if I can get this open with one hand. Okay, let me switch you over. 
So here we are. So the other day I'm sitting at the community park and Bylaw comes and hands me this little package. So apparently you can't park a motorhome in any public place within the city for more than two hours. So they even attached a picture of uh, me and all my friends and said I'm over the time limit. However, at that park, there's no signs anywhere posted that says anything about two hours or less. So that's my life recently, and I thought I could get away with it, or away from it, I should say, by coming out here to Crown Land. And then this broad shows up and says, you guys can't stay here, I'm filling that in tomorrow with the excavator. And I just dropped the phone. This is real RV life. Look at this lazy dog. Are you gonna wake up, Prash? Are you gonna get up? Silly girly. Come on. It's morning time. It's nice and cold and snowy. <laughs> and this is what we're dealing with today. We are expecting basically a foot of snow within the next couple days. And uh, it looks like the whole island's gonna get hit. I checked the weather everywhere thinking I could avoid it, but it's seeming I can't. Okay, and just like that, you can see the rigs off in the background. We are in the town of Cumberland, BC. And the plan is just to hunker down in this parking lot for the night because it is uh, snowy, cold, and we're expecting a lot of snow overnight. I'm walking so slow, <laughs> hopefully I don't fall in solid ice underneath me. Whoop! Come on, Prash. Good morning, everybody. It's, uh, it's not pretty out, as you can see behind me. And, uh, yeah, I just heard Patrick start up his engine, so I guess we're getting ready to move. I'm crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're about to find out how good Nana is in a foot of snow. <laughs> okay, well, we made it down to the water. You can see kind of how deep the snow is. see the potholes, of course, because they're snow covered. I am going to just park right here. Home sweet home. Well, at least I have precious. I just opened up the fridge and that pot with the leftovers from last night's dinner just fell all over the floor. Oh. Is it good, Prash? My butter, chicken, and rice that I was just about to warm up. <laughs> but it beats me having to clean it up. So, enjoy, Prash. <laughs> Poor Nana. Oh my goodness, she's filthy. Covered nice, covered in gross road salt and dirt. Oh well. Get out of here, you weirdo. <laughs> okay, well, it's warmed up a little bit, still snowing, but we're going to go for a little walk. Okay, well, we came up this road over here, and if you look way off in the distance, you can see Nana and Patrick's rig right there behind me. So we're just out for our walk. Quite cold, but Precious is enjoying it. 
Okay, well, we're still parked here at this boat ramp because the snow is not letting up. Oh, they got it out already. That Nissan behind that truck spun out of control and almost drove right into the ocean. Thank goodness, two seconds later, this guy in a pickup truck stopped with some chains to pull him out. There he goes. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not the only one brave enough to drive today, but this poor guy is having one hell of a time trying to get out of this parking lot. I didn't know those vans were front wheel drive. I thought they were rear wheel drive. Oh boy. Well, it's been about an hour or two. Finally, someone is pulling that poor lady out with her uh, Pro Master or whatever they're called. So, I don't know why they're going the long way. But they're almost out of the snow. It would appear I'm not having very good luck. <laughs> so, we're at the boat launch where uh, I slept last night. And then lo and behold, some guy just shows up here and tells me that I owe $15 for parking and that I can't stay here. And then I said, you're really gonna make me drive in this? And he says, ah, the roads couldn't be any drier. Um, I beg to differ because I've seen several cars slide off the road this afternoon. Uh, anyways, we're out of here. Where we're going, I still don't know, but I'll probably end this video right here because it's probably getting too long. And um, yeah, I guess you'll see where we end up in the next one. So thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. The roads are dry, the guy says. It's safe, go for it. Yeah, look, here's another car in the ditch. So that's like the third or fourth one I've seen today. And I'm out here driving around in this 30-foot RV. Oh boy. There was actually three cars in the ditch right there, so that's a total of seven today. <laughs> I think it's fair to say people around these parts are not used to snow like this. What do you think, Fresh? Huh? What do you think? Don't worry, daddy's got it under control.